on and Prentice. So since the video that our to Jude has been filming has been running into so many logistical errors, it's giving us a headache. I decided that I was going to film this little video and edit it ourselves about family systems, partner systems, and generally dating when you're plural. So first, what's it like when a singlet dates a system? Singlet being someone who doesn't have alters. It's pretty clear cut, honestly. The singlet in the relationship can date either one alter or more than one alter. It is very rare for said singlet to be in a relationship with all of the alters in the system because of various factors such as sexuality, gender, age, let's be clear by the way, uh, age differences between alters does not negate the fact that, you know, age of consent in the body, let's just get that out of the way, to keep things bodily legal, anything else is extremely amoral. Generally, if you want a healthy relationship um, as a singlet with a partner who is a sister, you would want to at least be liked or have a rapport among all of the elders, even ones that you aren't dating. And it's, very, it's polite and expected for you to still form and value those friendships, even if you're not dating certain alters. For example, we don't say things like, oh, could you get alter that I'm dating? Uh, no offence, I just don't really want to spend time with you right now. You know, each alter is there for a reason, and you can have very full relationships with people in the system that your partner is in, even when you're not necessarily spending time with your partner. So what is a partner system or partner systems? Basically that's just when two systems are dating each other. Now it's common in this scenario for mul there, there to be multiple relationships going on. For example, like, there's a channel called Acrylic and Aether. Amazing, amazing channel. I'm going to try to leave their link in the description. So good. Um, and they are two systems that are dating each other. Sorry, this video is very disorganised. It is quite late at night. <laughs> uh, it can be that uh, the same, an alter in system A dates multiple alters from system B, but it would be more like, so say there was Tim and Jerry. <laughs> so Tim is from system A, Jerry is from system B. Tim and Jerry might be dating, but Sola and Derek, <laughs> Sola being from system A, Derek being from system B, might also be dating. That would make their system partner systems. Um, there can be as many relationships as kind of possible. It's very common for partner systems to have uh, very close relationships and friendships with alters based on, for example, two protectors uh, having a, a relationship or a very intense friendship because of their mutual experiences. Things like that. I'm worried I'm talking too fast. I hope I'm not. I hope I, I'd like to feel heard in the middle of this video. I, I hope I'm I hope I'm doing well. So then what are family systems? Family systems are basically when two systems uh, induct each other's alters, certain alters in each other's systems, into their chosen family. Uh, this has happened with us actually. It's mostly uh, you'll find in the form of older alters in certain systems uh, kind of adopting or taking a parent role to littles in other systems. Littles often lack actual stable and unique parental figures. There's often a, a catch-all caretaker in one system, but littles might not necessarily have a very close bond with them and might feel sad that they don't really have a parental figure that they can call their own. So it's not uncommon for older alters, either in their system or in this case from other systems, to just go, hmm, mine. <laughs> Sorry, it's not really how it goes, but you know. Um, obviously they don't perform 
a lot of the parental responsibility is like keeping them safe, keeping them like healthy physically. That is the responsibility of that person's system and the biological or the legal caretakers of their body. But it's more providing for the emotional needs of the child, you know, uh, comforting them when they're sad, giving them hugs, like talking to them about their interests, things like that. Um, now, obviously, you should be careful because some people will pretend to have good intentions when proposing that you become family systems or partner systems. So, obviously, be careful, but in our experience, it's been overwhelmingly positive. Um, we have one of the littles uh, and two of the fears that have been adopted into uh, um, an inter-system family, I think a family comprising of family comprising of alters from over six systems. <laughs> um, they have this they have this really really big family and it's amazing. <sighs> yeah. Um this was shorter than I thought it would be. I think we've covered everything. Uh, please feel free to, you know, answer, like, ask any questions down in the comments. I will try and answer them. I'm sorry if I didn't really do this properly. It's my first time trying to film a video, but uh, I really hope you all enjoyed. So, yeah. Have a good day, everyone. Bye!